Let me show you how you can save for an emergency fund, even if you have low income, high income, or whatever your situation is financially. Stay tuned for this video. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. Thank you, thank you for stopping by. Wanda is my name and saving money is my game. If you're not saving for emergencies, let's make it yours too. Let's save more in 2024. Let's save more money in 2024 and we'll be glad that we did. And I'm asking if you would subscribe to this channel, click the thumbs up button, drop me a comment and let me know what do you think of this video? Is it helpful? Is it a great idea? I'm very curious to know. And would you share this video because there may be someone that can use this content also. And would you click the notification bell so you may be notified every time I upload a new video. I want to say thank you for being here. Welcome to everyone and I hope everyone is doing well. On this channel, we are a community of savers. What are we saving? Saving for emergency. And why are we saving for emergency? Because it is important. They come and they can be avoided. And we want to be ready when they come. We want to have some money to tap into when these emergencies come. And sometimes someone may be on a low income and think, well, I can't save because I don't make enough money. And there are people on a high income or not saving, not because they can't. Well, they may be in a lot of credit card debt, robbing Peter Pay Paul, living from paycheck to paycheck, and they can't seem to save either. But if we do some things to change our situation, like living on less than what we make, watch our spending, staying out of consumer debt, staying away from credit cards, stop using credit cards, you know, we can change our situation and you'll start seeing extra money when you see those things. Well, we need to pay off credit cards if we have those. You know, do whatever we can to pay off a car loan if we have that. We need to really watch the money that's coming in and the money that's going out. And these are things that can help us to be able to put away money and if you're not making enough money, what you what would be a good idea is to increase your income by getting a side hustle. There's lots of ways to make extra money. Lots of ways. You just have to go out there and find it. Go online, go on YouTube, do Google search, ways to make money. At home, online, on my phone, and they're out there. And some of them you can do while you're just sitting right at home. So that's what we need to do. And, and I'm encouraging you, join me in the, the savings challenges if you're not saving any money. It can really, really help your situation. Okay, in today's savings challenge now, I have save, seven savings challenge all together. And today's savings challenge is savings challenge number three which I do on Wednesday. And it's considered cash stuffing. And it is this photo album that I've been stuffing with $10 bills. See that? That's a $10 bill. And I've been using real money to show you all that you can save. If I can do this, you can too. $10, that's not a lot of money. When we get some money, we should take out $10 for this savings challenge and find something like this photo album, which I got this in Dollar Tree, um, $4.25, and this is not a sponsored video, but I was in there looking for some other supplies, and I saw this, and I thought, oh, that would be good for cash stuff, and I didn't know what I was going to do with it. But then it came to my mind to stuff it with $10 bills. Now, this photo album has 500 pages, not 500, 50 pages. And when they're all stuffed with $10 bills, it will equal up to $500. Well, 
which is half of our $1,000 emergency fund that we need to have in case of emergency, in case we have an emergency up to $1,000, okay? Now, like I said, that will cover emergency up to $1,000, but we don't want to stop there. We want to continue to save until we get three to six months of our expenses. That way, if there's a job loss, home repair, car repair, medical bills, etc., we'll have money to tap into. And we want to have good behavior with money, okay? And when we're keeping this money in our home, which I call right now money, because cash is king. If you have an emergency, right now you'll have the money. Things can happen. We don't plan on it just like uh, a few days ago. I had to go to one bank and I was going to transfer some money from one bank to another. Well, the network was down. The bank was closed, but the bank that I bank at, they have personal tellers where you could drive up to ATMs and touch the screen and the teller comes on and transact business just like you're in the bank. Well, the network was down. And see, things like that. But if we have cash on hand, we can take care of whatever we need. Okay, and also, we want to keep this money in a secure location that is waterproof, fireproof, and theft-proof. And also, when we're saving money or emergencies or whatever, you know, it wouldn't be a bad idea to keep it to yourself. You don't have to tell everybody what you're doing. You don't have to broadcast it. I was just watching a video yesterday of a well-known, famous singer, well-known, famous singer, how she went broke because of letting people take advantage of her. Well, they knew she had the money. You know, it's okay to say no. It's okay. Now, you know, if somebody's in need for us being hungry or something like that, that's one thing, but she was being taken advantage of and she went broke. Um, and I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to say who she was. But anyway, so yeah, this money that we're saving is for emergencies only. Your emergency, okay? And just like you can save for emergency, everybody else can save for their emergency. All right, so let me go ahead and count this and show you how much I've saved since the beginning of 2000, January 2024. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 9,100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Okay, $280. And this will be $290. Okay, let me stuff this in here. That's almost $300. So see, $290. See how this is adding up over time? See, when we take small amounts of money, every time we get some money, it will add up and save it, it will add up over time. Okay, let me record this. Today is Wednesday, July 17th. And this is my photo album, Savings Hat. I added $10, and the total is $290. So see how this is adding up. And I encourage you, join me in this savings challenge if you're not saving anything. If you get paid once a month, it's four weeks in a month typically. So that's $40 a month. If you get paid every two weeks, that's $20 every, every two weeks, okay? If you get paid once a week, that's $10. And you can start with that. And you don't have to just stuff one page. You can stuff more pages. Or you can find a photo album that has more pages. The more pages, the more money you can stuff. Okay? But this is just something I saw to, uh, to show you all 
you can still save no matter what your income is with small amounts of money. All right. All right. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you got some value out of this and I hope something that was said to help you. I want to say thank you for joining me. Thank you for stopping by. I'll catch you in the next video and happy savings.